Yo, what is going on, you deluded delay bird? Getting into a gameplay today with Gustavo Juana's Urshifu Moltres Inteleon deck that they used to win a UIC. That's a pretty good deck. I'll break it down and show you guys how to play it. I did choose to go second in this game because using keep calling on the first turn is really, really good. Uh, going first is fine as well, and you can always use Snorlax. Looks like we're up against me. They got the Octillery in here, so we've maybe hit a mirror match, or our opponent could possibly be playing that rapid strike malamar uh, which is definitely a good matchup for us so we're hoping it's the rapid strike malamar the mirror match is kind of insane and it looks like we've maybe hit the mirror match here. yeah the mirror match is like wild i actually don't know fully how to play it it's a match i've never really played before and if my opponent is running manaphy we're definitely going to be in trouble but if they're not probably be fine <laughs> i guess that kind of depends on if they are or aren't but we're probably going to try and set up for like a turn two G max rapid flow and start to just take away my opponent's options as fast as possible. We got the Tower of Waters. We can get into a Snorlax and then move this. Oh, we actually got a research as well. I wouldn't mind playing the research depending on what we have prized. If my second Urshifu is prized, it's not. I actually did prize the baby Urshifu. So we can go for we can go for a lot here. Holy moly. Okay. I want cards, want options. So I think I'm gonna go for the Urshifu. Throw that down. Attach the energy. I mean, I could quick ball away the research and then retreat, but we could get a little bit more this turn. And I don't mind trying to reach for a little bit more here. But now I might go for the Sobble. Now let's go for the Snorlax. Go ahead, throw the stadium in play, uh, and then play the research. And we can retreat and use Gourmandize next turn. Um, or after this, actually, is what I should say. Quick ball away. Basic energy here seems fine. Go ahead and grab another Sobble. I could even quick ball away the... Baby Moltres, to be honest, as well, and grab another Sobble. I think that's probably fine. Uh, the Piers is prized. So that's like another reason I want to be a little bit more aggressive here. Because the Piers can usually find us our Rapid Strike energy. But if the Piers is prized, it can't find us our Rapid Strike energy. There's the Rapid Strike energy, though. So we're super close to be able to pull off this huge attack on the next turn. And what we can even combo this with as well, instead of just, just going for a G-Max Rapid Flow, we can use Avery and limit our opponent's bench and then use G Max Rapid Flow to take away pretty much all of their options. Now, like I said, they could be running Manaphy, which protects their bench, and they are running the Manaphy. So this is going to get a lot more difficult for us. It's going to get a lot more difficult. The Manaphy is super annoying to deal with. Now, the Avery is still pretty good here, especially if my opponent does go with, you know, filling their bench here. We could go with something like Avery into Scoop Up Net and then just take a knockout for the turn. Could also look for a boss KO on the Manaphy. This would force my opponent to have to find the, and use their Clara on their on their set on their next turn there. Uh, but then they would also maybe get the pull off a G Max Rabbit Flow themselves. Um, and that's where things just get kind of awkward for both of us back and forth from there. And they're not gonna be able to pull off a very big attack this turn. And here comes that rapid strike search. Looks like they're getting another Sobble. So Avery is actually still really, really good here. And we don't even have to go with the the boss on the Manaphy. Or even with a G Max Rapid Flow, to be honest, just like an Avery this turn is going to be pretty, pretty detrimental, uh, especially if they bench that Sobble. It looks like they're holding off on it for now. They've chosen not to go with it. And this does mean I'm not going to be able to actually get great playoff this turn, to be honest. We're going to go with that Avery here. My opponent is going to lose a bench Pokemon. So the question is, what are they going to give up here? probably the Sobble, maybe the Octillery, but the Octillery seems pretty, they, they everything seems really important, and they give up the Sobble. Okay. I don't see a reason not to attack here. I think we should at least swing as well. I'm gonna send it up. 100 Furious Blows, draw a prize card. My opponent's bench is pretty, uh, it's not that pretty. <laughs> it's pretty not pretty, but they have the option for the G-Max Rapid Flow this turn, and we don't play Manaphy ourselves. So that's going to be pretty tough for us to deal with here is the G-Max Rapid Flow. They're going to be able to take out multiple of our support Pokemon here, potentially. Now, we'll set them back their energy, though, and they won't be able to have any energy in play. And if I don't take a knockout on my next turn, then they won't be able to use Raihan, and then we'll still be in a pretty good spot ourselves. So even if they get off the G-Max Rapid Flow this turn, which it looks like they're basically guaranteed to pull off this turn as their Octillery for the Urshifu V-Max, um... We might be able to reset up like a Sobble if we want with the Sanya. Oh, even hitting for just like for just 100 Furious Blows on our next turn is going to be pretty good. And I'm assuming they'll probably take out our Drizzile and Sobble, which actually ends up being pretty good for us because we only have a level ball in our hand. Uh, and then we could go for the boss KO on the Manaphy, to be honest. 
and then they have to kind of decide between i guess they'd probably just go with the gale thrust at that point to be honest and probably clara back the mana fee yeah that seems like a pretty good play for my opponent i would imagine that's what they would go for here but we'll wait and see we'll see what they actually end up doing but i'm assuming a sable and a of mine are going down we could boss ko their mana fee would open the possibility for them to Raihan, but if they don't, if they Raihan, they don't Clara. So they'll probably be looking for Clara plus Gale Thrust on their turn, and then they'll get their Mana Feet back, which to be honest, that's not very good for us. We hate to see that. We could just go ahead and hit them with another Avery this turn, plus a 100 Furious Blows on their VMAX. That could be pretty solid as well. Of course, their bench is looking a lot cleaner right now, and they're probably grabbing a Sobble off this Quick Ball. Maybe their second Urshifu V, and then losing their only Sobble in player Urshifu would also be pretty rough for them to deal with, but looks like they're getting another sobble so they would only lose one sobble here so i might go for the boss on the mana fee none of, none of it seems great to be honest <laughs> nothing seems great here for me and that's the power of the mana fee in the mirror match is it uh, it definitely gives you the advantage definitely gives you the advantage actually they're loading up sobble so now i'm like feeling more inclined to go for this avery play and just kind of punch their urshifu they don't get the raihan option to getting back to the bench and to back to the active is going to be tough and we really get to put a hurting on their resources by going with this uh going with this avery play so i think we're gonna go with the avery play here of course assuming that they actually take the knockouts on my sobble and out, which is what i assume they're gonna do it kind of makes the most sense to me we'll wait and see what they definitely do here but i would assume that's what they're going for maybe deciding between sobble sobble or sobble drizzle of course we have more outside drizzles than intellions but generally uh, eventually you're gonna have an out to an, an intellion anyways and the intellion is much more powerful than a drizzle so Definitely want to usually limit your opponent's access to Drizzile whenever you can. And yeah, goodbye Sable, goodbye Drizzile. Definitely the correct play there from my opponent. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit him with that Avery uh, and hope that, uh, you know, once again, limiting my opponent's resources, limiting their shady dealings out more so than anything is gonna put us in a pretty good spot. So let's see what they decide to get rid of here. Of course, if they get rid of the Mana Fee, which I wouldn't recommend, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend them getting rid of the Mana Fee. Uh, Sable, Sable, bite the dust. Um, now, we could go with an escape rope here, actually, which is what I think I'm going to do. Well, actually, I don't really want to draw a prize card here because then I give him another G-Max Rapid Flow. I could just punch this, but then I give him the out to just use Cheryl for the turn, which I also don't want to do. So maybe I should go with the escape rope. I'm actually kind of torn on what to do here, but the escape rope seems like a pretty cool play. So I think I'm going to go with the escape rope play and see how well it works out. Let me just kind of like retreat this drizzle after we escape rope yeah let's go for the escape rope play let's see what happens here escape rope now this does open up the raihan play for my opponent but uh, i mean i need something here i don't think i'm just punching their urshifu feels so weak it's uh, so easy for them to just go for the cheryl play and uh, because i have because i did put the tower of waters in play early on they'll be able to retreat and then they'll be able to evolve to drizzle get a scoop up net um, or the cheryl they probably have a scoop net in hand they should be playing like four of those I want to keep my Drizzle around because I can make that an Inteleon on the next turn. And then go ahead and 100 Furious Blows. And I would like a prize card here, to be honest, as well, because I would like to find my other Urshifu that's prized. Because if I let my opponent knock out this Urshifu and the Drizzle, then at that point, um, they'll have drawn three prize cards. So if I can set up my other Urshifu, they'll still have to deal with that as well. And that could put us in a pretty good spot to potentially get ahead in this match. And I'm curious to actually see what my opponent goes with here. And also, now that they set up the Sobble, I'm less afraid of stuff like Raihan. Of course, everything in this list is basically a one of. Uh, and now we've taken out... I mean, four of their Sobbles. <laughs> We've literally taken out the whole squad. And if that wasn't uh, good enough, we could actually still take out more of them. We have the Pal Pad, so it is possible for us to Pal Pad, get back some Averys, and then Shady Dealings Italian go find the Avery and use the Avery again, possibly. But it looks like a Gale Thrust is what's on the menu uh, for my opponent here. So that's still going to hurt. That's 150 damage to my Urshifu. Uh, we can't really remove that damage from i guess i could go for the cheryl play myself this turn to be honest actually i could go for the cheryl play myself this turn we could go for that and then gale thrust my opponent back i kind of like that play we might go for that we'll wait and see what my opponent actually ends up doing here evolution incense there's the urshifu v max could also go for the boss ko on the mana fee i got 150 on me which i don't like Sheesh. Okay, let's uh, start thinning out the deck a little bit here. Grab a Dark Energy. The Cheryl's there. We could go for the Cheryl play. I kind of like the idea of the Cheryl play. Evolution Incense gets us the VMAX. They can probably pull off a GMAX Rapid Flow next turn. You know what? To be honest, they probably couldn't KO my active, though. 
But how would I boss? I could like retreat net boss KO Manaphy. Okay, maybe that's the play. Oh my gosh, what's the play? <laughs> this is so tough. This deck is so hard to play sometimes, it feels like. I could boss KO Manaphy. Or we could go for the Cheryl play. But if they then they can Gale Thrust me. And if they have their choice belt, I would lose the game. Once again, it's a one of card. I guess if they had the Raihan as well, they could Raihan into it. Oh, this is so extremely tough to figure out what I want to do here. Net plus... Oh, we could get our own choice belt plus Cheryl. Okay, I think I like this. Okay, I'm going to try this one out. Our hand's getting really big as well. Choice belt. Treat. Net. I could put the Sobble back down. That definitely becomes a target for my opponent. Cheryl. I think I might just rock... Lone Ursh here. Gale Thrust. Until I've kind of removed the threat of being a, like being G-Max Rapid Flow from, flowed from play. Because either my opponent's going to have to G-Max Rapid Flow, or they're going to have to Cheryl themselves. And if they don't have the energy after they Cheryl, well, then we could bench a Sobble, and the Sobble, there's no threat of the Sobble. But right this turn, they could go with like a G-Max Rapid Flow. I mean, that's not even that scary, to be honest. And right now, my G-Max Rapid Flow actually KOs their Urshifu because of the Choice Belt. We hit for 180, and then next turn, G-Max Rapid Flow does 150, and then we would actually get the knockout on this Urshifu. We wouldn't be able to KO anything else off the bench. We'd have one prize card left, and as long as I have some kind of out left, we should be able to string together a final knockout here. I didn't love the idea of giving my opponent more outs. But even Clara next turn just put a bunch of Sobbles in play. I have a ton of shady dealings out on our next turn. Now, they did use the Peonia there, so there's no Cheryl happening for my opponent. Another Urshifu was found, though. That's always a threat. Let's see what else they got cooking as well. They're going to need more than that. Yeah, they're going to need quite a bit more than that. Let's see if they can put something together here. If they don't actually hit us very hard at all, I'm feeling really good. They hit us a little bit, a little hard a little bit less good but i'm feeling pretty good if they don't actually hit us very hard at all here and we could even like find we could even like top deck like a scoop up net or something and like reset they found themselves a rapid strike energy so they might just go with like a strafe for 30. now that would make things awkward to be honest if they just went like no they're setting up for the g max rapid flow for 120. oh no i don't like this though because this means if they have they could like gale thrust knock us out next turn with their choice belt no they would need two choice belts. they wouldn't be able to knock us out but it'd be hard for us to win. It would be hard for us to win on our... This, whew, they're doing 120. If they want to hit us this turn, they're only doing 120. Only doing 120. That's it. I'm not super scared of 120. We could actually hit with a baby Maltrace, though. Ooh, okay, okay. Here's what we can do. We can hit with a baby Maltrace next turn through Clara. If they don't hit at all this turn, Clara for baby Maltrace plus a Sobble. Get some energy involved. Then we're hitting with the baby Maltrace. We're still doing 120 right now with baby Maltrace. So we could do... Quite a bit of damage with that on our following turn do that and then i feel like we're in a pretty good spot uh but we'll see my opponent super undecided though they got the choice but they do have the choice belt but they're still 30 damage short if we knock out their active here they would be 30 damage short from a ko now i do believe yeah i'm down both escape ropes so let's go with oh this is just so tough i think we're gonna go with the clara play not the song the clara Attach here. G-Max Rapid Flow KO. Then we just need a boss KO something off the bench. Attach here. Clara. Do both. I could grab Double Sobble. We do have a Maltrace left in the deck that I could get with a Quick Ball. No, we're out of Quick Balls. So I actually am going to grab the Maltrace. Because if they KO my active, I don't need the Maltrace. Grab a Sobble as well. Get a couple energy for the Maltrace potentially. Boom, boom. And then Sobble, Sobble. Hope for the best. Uh, G-Max Rapid Flow. Super cool math that the, the, the choice belt actually lines up there. That's super interesting. You get this hit, and then you get the, the follow-up hit. All right, my opponent could have game here. Oh, no, they can't have game here. They, right, I thought they could. They can't have game here. They literally cannot have game here. And actually, uh, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot if they go for KO Double Sobble. And if they don't go for KO Double Sobble, I think we're still going to be in a pretty good spot. I think we're just in a good spot here in general. Uh, even if they have a G-Max Rapid Flow, they can't win. Unless they play two Choice Belt, which nobody does that. That'd be ridiculous. Actually, even with two Choice Belt, they couldn't win. They can KO active with a Choice Belt, or they don't get a KO at all. If they don't get a KO at all, we're in a really good spot. If they do get a KO, 
you know, win, and then we should be able to set up win. Yeah, I think we've overcome the mana fee from my opponent here, and we're actually going to be able to get a dub in this one. That's actually wild. <laughs> I thought we were going to be in a terrible spot throughout this one, but uh, a couple tricky plays. Played it pretty conservative. Didn't leave too many opportunities for my opponent. Really aggressive with the Averys. That was kind of like, we don't get to actually get knockouts when we remove my opponent's Sobbles from play, but we still get to remove my opponent's Sobbles from play. And that's the important part. Take their Sobbles out of play, so that way, you know, they're not getting the value of the shady dealings. And they've opted every time to keep the artillery in play instead, which has now led to this point where it feels like we're at quite the advantage going into uh, potentially our final turn on this next one. Now, I don't know if my last scoop up net is prized or not, though. And it might be. My last scoop up net might be prized here. If it is, we can't get a reset. But actually, we should be able to boss here. Now, the more that I'm thinking about it, I think we should be able to boss here for sure, right? Let's find out unless my boss is in my last prize cards as well shady dealings <laughs> let's go check no there's the boss boom grab the boss maltrace race goes down dark dark boom boom attach the fighting retreat to the maltrace race and then boss we're gonna kill that man if he would have left have kato at a on an earlier turn but i don't think there was ever a good turn to actually boss the mana fee i think this ended up being the perfect turn to boss the mana fee on the last turn of the game to get the win <laughs> and that's going to do it for some gameplay with gustavo wada's urshifu maltrace in tele on list they used to win euic the deck is crazy good um and uh yeah really great deck if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like and if you're enjoying the videos in general and you're excited to see some more from me be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and i'll catch y'all in the next one